Malta. I don't know why I always picture this island as a place filled with long roads next to the sea with luxury cars and fancy people parting on boats all across the shore. Part of it is kinda true, part of it is completely different. The punishing sun, the lizards, the cactuses, the snails, the horses, the waves shaping the limestone of this amazing island. A precious land that has been witness of the past of many civilizations, wars and events. The Crusaders fought hardly. They created eternal walls to protect this important land in the middle of the Mediterranean. They defeated the Ottomans, they kept their island to themselves. The capital, Valletta, carries the name of the Grand Master of the Order of Knights that brought glory to these 316 kilometers of Europe. Even Caravaggio found refuge in Malta. He painted his masterpiece, the only one that he ever signed. I remember sitting on the stairs during the warm summer nights, lighted with candles in my favorite Maltese bar in Valletta called Cafe Society. The young smiley people passing by, going from one point to another in the wall city. The first bite of a pastizzi, a magnificent filled pastry, the meat pies, the glorious cakes at La Fontanella in Medina. You gotta enjoy those things. More than naming places to go, or things you should eat and see, I can just recommend you to walk, climb the hills, feel the breeze of the Mare Nostro, and dive into the most crystal clear waters you'll ever see. Try a new rhythm of life, enjoy the dive in.